Eaters Club. There was once an ant eater with a very short snout. He had a great sense of smell and he could always tell where the best ants were. But his snout was too short to reach into the ant hills to catch them. This made the ant eater very grumpy. He walked all over the savannah, but wherever he went, the ant hills were tall and he couldn't catch any ants. In desperation, the grumpy ant eater broke an ant hill open, but inside it was full of fire ants. Ouch! He shouted as they bit him all over. Ow! Get off me! Three other ant eaters heard him shouting and came to his rescue. The big one picked him up. The middle sized one led them to the river. And the smallest one, who had a very long snout, sprayed water on him to wash off the ants. We are the Ant Eaters Club, said the smallest one. I dig out the ant hills, said the biggest one. I plan how to catch the ants, said the middle-sized one. And I reach in to get the ants, said the smallest one with a long snout. Would you like to join us? Do you have any special talents? The grumpy ant eater knew that they had helped him, but he was hungry and tired and wet and jealous of their long snouts, and that just made him grumpier. What makes you think I want to join your ant eaters club? He said. I can find ants all on my own. And he stormed off all by himself. He walked for a while, but the further he walked, the sadder he felt. He sat down on another ant hill, feeling sorry for himself. Why was I so mean, he thought. They were really nice ant eaters. I wish I wasn't so grumpy. He knew that he should go and say sorry. So he sighed through his short snout and went back to find the ant eaters club. But when he got back to the riverside, the middle ant eater and the large ant eater were in a panic. The little ant eater has been caught by wild dogs, they said. I can help, said the grumpy ant eater. He sniffed the air until he found the scent of the wild dogs and led the others towards the wild dogs' lair. When they were outside the lair, they concocted a plan. The biggest one stomped around loudly. And when the wild dogs came out to see what the noise was, the middle-sized one ran off, leading them away from the entrance. The smallest anteater was surprised when the grumpy anteater snuck inside to rescue him. I didn't expect to see you, he said. Sorry I was angry, said the grumpy anteater. I'm not used to having friends. It's okay said the smallest ant eater. If you get me out of this, then I'll be your friend for life. They ran out of the lair together, but just when they thought they were safe, they saw that the middle-sized ant eater was still being chased by the wild dogs. He couldn't get them off his trail. The grumpy ant eater called out to the middle-sized one. This way! He yelled and ran back towards the fire ant nest. The middle ant eater followed, with the wild dogs still hot on his train. The grumpy ant eater ran around one side of the fire ant nest, and the medium ant eater ran around the other. The wild dogs ran straight into it, and the fire ants bit them all over. Ow! 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 They yelped while the ant eaters escaped. And from that day on, the grumpy ant eater joined the ant eaters club. He used his great sense of smell to find all the best ant hills for them. And with a full stomach and three great friends, he 
wasn't grumpy anymore. Thank you.